Hi, Carrie. Hi, Rachel. Second, second one today. Second one. So we're in. We're not in Vestal anymore, but we're still in Vestal School District. Mm -hmm. This is Tioga Hills Elementary, mm -hmm. Vestal Schools, Tioga County. So you get the awesome Tioga County taxes. Fantastic. Yes. And a beautiful home. Yes. This home is four bedrooms, two and a half baths. You're a colonial, so there's a lot mm -hmm. of colonials. We're in Tioga Terrace. Yep. So there's a lot of colonials in Tioga Terrace, and everyone has. You know, every house has their own little unique spin that the owners have put on it. So sure. this has an open, what I would call a great room. So you have a gas fireplace, family room area, kitchen, eat-in, but you also have your formal dining room. So it's like an eat-in slash family room. And then off of that, you get this really awesome three season. All you have to do is put a heat source out there and you could use it use all it year, year round. round. You sure. really could. So beautiful marble floors. Yeah. Really huge windows, and then you've got a great backyard in this house. Mm -hmm. Some of the houses have the garage underneath. This house, I think, is great because it has the garage up on the same level as the first floor, really. Sure. So it's not underneath the house, and it's not cutting into square footage in the basement. Okay. Gorgeous hardwoods in the dining room. Yes. Newer hardwoods in the dining room. Mm -hmm. The kitchen, uh, although I haven't mentioned it before, is really a total remodel. Has oh, maple yeah. cabinets, yep. Corian countertops, mm -hmm. uh, so that's really nice about the house. Windows let in a lot of light. Mm -hmm. The owners had a really nice front door put in with side lights. That's you know very expensive, so mm -hmm. it's a nice entry to come into. So you've got family room, living room, formal dining, eat-in kitchen. Yep. All remodeled. Nice size foyer, half bath, first floor. Second floor has the four bedrooms, perfect. two full baths, so it really is a perfect, I don't want to say it's cookie cutter because it is a four bedroom, two and a half bath colonial in Tioga Terrace, Right. but it does have some really cool, unique features that, and it actually has more of a modern spin, I think, on it. It does. It, it's got a traditional layout, but it right. feels updated and more contemporary than... That's right. Yeah. So, and did I mention low taxes? Yay. Yay. So we've got all four bedrooms upstairs. Right. This, of course, is the largest bedroom. This is the master. Yep. There is a bathroom <laughs> up here, which, again, is updated. I don't want to say a lot of the homes in Tioga Terrace don't have an updated bathroom, but it's, it's a really good thing to see an updated bathroom sure. in the Tioga Terrace. So mm -hmm. it's an updated bathroom, white, which is awesome. Yep. Same thing with the main bath. Main bath has a tub. So a lot of people ask about that. And even though there's four bedrooms, mm -hmm. they're all really good size. That's so, great. Right. This is the biggest. It's like 17 by 13. So it's a decent size bedroom. So we don't usually tape in the basement if it's unfinished. Sure. But I wanted to make sure that we did tape down here, Rachel, mm -hmm. because I measured it myself. It's 890 square feet down here. And I think, in my opinion, this is totally finishable space. Absolutely it is. The owner is put in a sump pump. Mm -hmm. It, he, the floor is painted. Mm -hmm. It's really clean down here and nice. I mean, if somebody wanted to add square footage, there's 2,000 square feet upstairs, but somebody wanted the extra, sure. like an extra family room, rec room, whatever. Yep. You see these houses all the time, and they have the square footage down in the basement that people have finished off and made beautiful bars, rec rooms, sure. theater, theater, theater rooms, rooms yeah. whatever. Uh, and the great thing is that you don't have the garage that's down here that's cutting into your square footage. Good point. So, um, I think yeah, it's a few worth thousand dollars, put a drop ceiling, exactly. plaster the walls. and Exactly. And you've got another 800 at least square feet right. of living space. So if they want to see it, they can call me on my cell, which is 607-343-1035. Thank you, Carrie. Thanks, Rachel.